Gardner's jobs got much easier in 1830 with the invention of the first mechanical lawnmower. Nowadays, most lawnmowers have electric motors or gas engines. They turn blades that are either on a reel and cut like scissors, or rotate like a propeller to chop the grass. These gas mowers have rotary blades that spin horizontally on a vertical crankshaft. To make the blade housing, which is called the deck, a machine first applies a lubricating chemical to sheet steel which was coiled when it came to the factory. The chemical helps flatten it so it's easier to cut. A press then perforates the sheet every 60 centimeters. After the press separates the segments and rounds off the corners, a robotic arm moves each segment onto a die. A 500-ton press bends the steel like tin foil between two molds to give the deck its basic shape. A robot lifts the oily decks with suction cups and moves them to another press. This machine trims away the excess around the deck's edges. Another machine bends the sharp bottom lip inward to make the deck safer to handle. The factory uses robots because they work faster than humans, processing 500 decks an hour. After a thorough cleaning, the decks move into an electrostatic paint booth. They lace the powder paint with a negative electric charge, the decks with a positive one. This draws the paint particles onto the decks, creating a thorough and even coat. The factory's six paint booths are on tracks, so when it's time to change color, workers can easily switch the entire chamber for a clean one. The paint cures at 190 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. This press bends two and a half meter long tubing to form the mower's upper handle. Another press bends 1.8 meter long tubes to make a shorter, lower handle. Workers will later attach the two handles to form one folding handle. By folding, it takes up less space in the shipping box and later in your garage. Here's the mower's five horsepower engine. A worker attaches it to the deck with three bolts. He uses a powerful torque gun so the bolts won't loosen because of vibrations. Later, workers will mount the blades to the engine's crankshaft that protrudes through an opening in the deck. Next, workers install a plastic rear door through which the grass clippings eject. This door attaches to brackets which have levers that adjust the mower to nine different height positions. It's time to mount the plastic rear wheels. Next, an adapter to stabilize the blade on the crankshaft. Then, the blade. It's wider at each end to create the proper airflow inside the deck. They secure the blade tightly with a powerful wrench because it's going to spin at 3300 RPM. The front wheels are one-third smaller than the back ones. This makes the mower easier to maneuver over uneven terrain. They put rubber covers on the height adjustment levers, so they're softer on the fingers. The mower adjusts from 2.5 to nearly 9 centimeters off the ground. They secure the lower handle. Then loosely attach the upper handle to the lower one. The consumer can tighten this after shipping. They add a safety handle that turns the engine off if you're not squeezing it against the upper handle. It attaches to a caliper system, much like what you'd find on a bicycle. Finally, workers apply labels to indicate the mower's horsepower and width. Fill her up with gas, and she's ready to cut your lawn down to size. <laughs>